Hey everyone, this is Steve from Taxopress. Taxopress is the advanced taxonomy manager. If you use tags, categories, WooCommerce product categories, really anything to organize your WordPress, you'll benefit from using Taxopress. I'm going to introduce you to a feature called synonyms today. And what that does is it can find related words in your content. And if it finds any of them, it can add one tag that you choose. Let me show you how that works. I have a WordPress site set up already, and it has a post about apples. If I scroll to the bottom, I see one of the really useful Taxopress features, which is able to suggest existing terms on the site. It's scanning the content and suggesting apple. This is not too difficult. The word apple appears repeatedly in the content, and it's already a term on the site, so Taxopress scans the content and suggests this as a term. However, the synonyms feature allows you to be more sophisticated about how you handle this. For example, if I leave this page here and I create a new post, this time it's going to be about golden delicious apples. This is a much shorter post and it doesn't actually mention the word apple. So if I go to suggest existing terms and scan, there's no results found. This is what we're going to fix with the synonyms feature. Let me publish that post there and I'll go to the tags box and I'll edit the apple tag. And what I can do is add lots of words which are related to apple, for example, apples, or golden delicious, or maybe a honey crisp, or maybe another kind of apple, Rayburn. So now, if Taxopress scans the content and finds any of these words, it's automatically going to suggest or add the tag apple. Taxopress understands that all of these words are closely related. I'll go to the posts area here, and you'll see that none of these posts have tags yet. Golden Delicious has no tags. Apples has no tags. We're going to dive into a slightly more advanced pro version feature in Taxopress called Auto Terms. And what this does will scan your content and automatically add related useful terms. In this case, you can decide which taxonomy you want to use. For example, I'm going to use tags here. And when it comes to post types, I'm going to scan posts. And there's going to be one setting that I'm going to need to enable. And that is going to be the synonym setting here. Add terms if synonyms are found. So auto terms here is going to scan the posts on my site and without me doing anything, it's going to automatically add relevant and useful terms, including synonyms. I'm going to edit the golden delicious post. And this is enough for auto terms to scan the content and look for any synonyms. It's looking for Apple plus also Golden Delicious, Rayburn, Honeycrisp, any of those alternatives too. I'm going to click on update for this post and automatically Apple has been found. Let me get rid of that tag and let me try another synonym. So let me try Honeycrisp instead. So this again should trigger the addition of Apple as a term. Let's see if that works. I'll click update and I'll refresh the screen. And there we go. We have Apple. So now if I add any posts about apples, about Rayburn or Honeycrisp or Golden Delicious, or even if I use the word, the plural word apples, then Taxopress is going to be smart enough to understand that I mean Apple, and I want the tag Apple added to that post. 
let me publish this. And I'm expecting Apple to be added there. So this is what Synonym does. Instead of having dozens or hundreds of terms that all mean the same thing added as separate tags, this allows you to have a much cleaner setup where Rayburn, Golden Delicious, Honey Crisp, Apples, any of those terms simply trigger the addition of one term, Apples, to your post. Let me show you another example now that we understand the concept. I'm going to enable WooCommerce on this site. The synonyms feature is often used by WooCommerce users. And let me show you an example of how you can put it to use for your products. So we have WooCommerce here, and we have the product categories that are available for WooCommerce. What I'm gonna do is make a category called shirt, and I'm gonna add synonyms such as T-shirt. T-shirts with a hyphen. Jersey. Jerseys. I'm going to add all sorts of different similar synonyms. And I'm hoping that if auto terms in the TaxoPress plugin finds any of these, it's going to automatically add the shirt category. Okay, I'll click to save that main shirt category there. And what I'm going to do is go to TaxoPress. I'll go to auto terms and I'm going to apply this not to posts and tags now, but to product categories and products. Okay. So just a reminder, shirt is the main product category and all of those others that we enter are not going to exist as categories, but if TaxoPress finds them, it's going to add the main shirt category. So products, add new product, and I'm going to call this tank top. And I will add in the main text, this is a jersey. So I'm hoping that automatically, just based on a couple of these key phrases, these synonyms here, that the category shirt is going to be added. Let me publish this. And there we go. Shirt has been automatically added. This is a clean and efficient way to automate adding tags to your content in WordPress. Instead of having a separate tag for tank top and for jersey and shirts and shirt, you can have one main category that automatically gets added if any of those synonyms are added. This is just one of the impressive features available in TaxoPress. We've taken a look at a TaxoPress Pro feature today, which is synonyms, but the free version is also packed full of cool and useful features. So if you haven't tried TaxoPress today, head over to wordpress.org and grab your free copy.